Hi, I'm Jacob with the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. Today I want to help you decide what caliber you should buy for when crap hits the fan and hopefully we can dispel some myths along the way. Stick around and let's talk about it. So the most popular answer to this question is 9mm and 5.56 and usually the reasons are it is the most prevalent ammo. It will be the easiest to find and usually you will see people infer that either when NATO invades US soil, it'll be easiest to go shoot all the blue hats, blue helmets, or when they're snooping around stealing stuff out of people's houses and caches in uh, some kind of the end of the world as we know it situation, that uh, those two calibers will be the easiest to find. So the first thing that I want to do is talk about two reasons why although 9mm and 5.56 is not the wrong answer, that mentality absolutely is the wrong answer and it's downright stupid. All right, the number reason, one reason why that mentality is stupid is if you think that in an extreme emergency situation that you're just going to be walking around running and gunning, murdering people and taking their ammo and weapons, you're going to die. You're going to die very quickly. There's this weird thing where the people with the absolute least amount of experience have the highest amount of self-confidence. The more that most people experience of combat and even of real training is that the more you fight, the higher your chances of dying are. There is no romance in combat and in this end of the world as we know it situation or whatever, things are gonna suck. And if your intent is either to run around and go shoot blue helmets or steal stuff from people, you're gonna end up dead really quick. Both stupid reasons are probably based on some kind of video game Hollywood Rambo mentality of walking around, killing your enemies, taking their ammo, etc. But if you think about it, a gun is worthless without ammo, right? So if you find ammo, whether in someone's house or on a dead body, what's probably going to be with it? A gun. This isn't a video game where you just walk around, level up, gain XP, find ammo, pack up 400 rounds, shoot with unlimited magazines. It's not really how this works. If you find ammo, chances are there will also be a gun with it. So sitting around worrying about what kind of ammo you think you're going to find in whatever kind of disaster that you think that you're going to be in is a waste. Better put this in my pocket. Level up. Oh, wait. This is nine millimeter, and I only have a forty-five. Guess I better put it back. There are a lot of other stupid answers that you will hear. For instance, somebody's gonna say twenty-two or twenty-two mag, and then afterwards they're gonna say. Well, of course it's effective. You don't want to be shot by it, do you? It's all about shot placement. Yes, it's all about shot placement. If you're shooting a 22 at any distance, the available areas that you have to shoot at and have proper shot placement to get instant satisfaction, game over, 
threat eliminated are marginalized to an extreme degree. For all of you shot placement guys, you have to have good shot placement, but guess what? In combat, you're gonna shoot any target that presents itself, whether it's a foot or the person's heart. So stop talking about shot placement. It's retarded when it comes to a caliber discussion. So let's wrap this up. What calibers do you need to consider for yourself for when crap hits the fan? Number one, get yourself a fighting rifle and a fighting pistol in a center fire cartridge that has cheap ammo and go train with it. The correct question is not what caliber of firearm do I need to have for when crap, crap hits the fan? The correct question is where do I need to train for when crap hits the fan? Because if you have a $400 AK and $1,000 of training through 1,000 rounds of ammo or $1,000 worth of ammo, and so you're up to $2,400, you will have an advantage over the guy with a $2,400 AR or anything else who's basically never shot it every single time. The average shooter in America shoots something like seven rounds a year. That's not enough to know how to do jack crap, especially under stress. So what you need to be asking yourself, essentially, is do you want to shoot an AK in 7.62x39 or do you want to shoot an AR in 5.56? I'm not here to give you the answer to that question. Look at ammo prices and look at training because no matter what rifle and pistol style you choose, if you go put thousands of rounds down range with professional training, no matter what gun you have when crap hits the fan, you will have a massive advantage over anyone else. And if you have this fantasy about when crap hits the fan, about stealing all kinds of guns and ammo or killing all kinds of people and taking their stuff, the gun that you have before crap hit the fan doesn't matter anyways. So, there you go. Let me know what you think, guys. Uh, I look forward to the discussion. I look forward to the trolls. Uh, you know, subscribe. I hope you enjoy the video. And for next Tactical Tuesday, we will talk about something else that I get all fired up about. So uh, stay tuned, and I look forward to talking to you. Thanks.